Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another anime review. I just recently finished Action Heroine Cheer Fruits. Actually, it's called Janetsu Fruits. This is not translated correctly. I know this is the Malaysian version, so that's why the title is not accurate at all, and please forgive me. So we've got nine young ladies here. Um, slight spoiler. Um, this, uh, Kamidayo, that all the girls are just obsessed with her. She is, um, the local idol to, I forget what prefecture it is, but, um, Akane, yeah, <laughs> Anakage, sorry, not Akane, Anakage, she is the biggest otaku surrounding, um, Kamadayo, and she, she makes, yeah, she makes me look like nothing, but <laughs> anyways, um, she shows off her room to her friends. It's, it's just a really sweet, uplifting, laid back, peaceful, enjoyable show with a lot of action and adventure in it. And it's done with magical realism, so it's basically a story of true friendship and ingenuity as well as innovation and entrepreneurial spirit and there are a lot of really good takeaway points from this um yes there's fan service but it's more mild on the fan service than anything else which um as far as watching anime and growing up with it uh, a lot of the animes I've seen are highly heavy on the fan service, but it's not to the point where it takes over plot. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> but this really doesn't affect anything in our characters and how we're introduced to them and where they come from and that they all want to support their city the best way they know how. And there's more to it than that. There's, um, one of the girls, I'm just going to give away a little bit of a spoiler, one of the girls, her grandfather recently died, so there's a building that belongs to him, but of course there's order that's going to go out that um, states that it needs to be raised, and she really doesn't know what to do, there's no funding for the building, the, the building has no parishioners and it's going to be demolished um, in order to raise money for the temple to continue serving people as it does um, she and her friends decide to become a group of local idols it is just such such a cute little show it's so sweet I actually cried uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um, I was surprised, but it was just such a touching little anime, and it's very short, it's 12 episodes, but um, it's excellent too, it's one of the best animes I've seen in a long time, I mean the characters are likable, the colors are beautiful, the the, cine the, the scenery is absolutely gorgeous, a lot of it takes place during um, Sakurami and some of it takes place during Hanami so I love both and there's a little bit of wisteria they don't really do uh, the wisteria viewing but um, I would just love to go during Sakurami because I just think that would be a lot of fun to see the trees and cherry trees are my favorite um, I really don't know what else to tell you about the series. I've probably spoiled it quite a bit, but um, if you're a fan of just idols themselves, and the Japanese are really good about this, and it just shows what teamwork can do. It's an unrivaled force, and these girls show what they're really made of, and they 
become better people over time due to these friendships that they form. And, and one thing I really like about this is one of the characters is actually wheelchair bound. And we don't really see that very often. Well, we, we, we don't in Western animation. In Eastern you do, um, it's been a while since I actually saw a, a girl who's crippled. She doesn't really have a disability per se, but she has to get around by wheelchair. She walks with braces. It's not really stated what her actual ailment is, but it's interesting to see disability portrayed in such a way, but she, she doesn't, she's not a weak little mousy thing. No. <laughs> she um, later becomes this tyrant director who <laughs> is done for, for giggles. A lot of things I like, um, there's a lot of um, little cultural inside jokes, and I understood them, even though I'm Gaijin. So I think the fact that they did this and they did it well, even to the point where somebody like me, who's not a resident Japanese, can um, understand and laugh at, the, laugh at the joke anyway. Um, the series... I definitely give two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. I mean, there's there's no real reason to give it anything lower. It's the the storyline is solid. Um, just these characters are just absolutely tremendous, and one of the characters I thought was a carbon copy of me, just because of the way she acted. And I'm gonna cosplay as her. Um, it was cheer yellow, but they're all based on fruits. Sorry, spoiler, but, uh, or she's known as Lemon. And I just, I love her, <laughs> but there really isn't that much I can say about the series itself. It was just too short. I wish they would do more, but. When it's an OVA, usually OVAs don't last that long, and you got your long, your really lengthy series like um, Not a Doe and Bleach and um, One Piece, which is still going on. I'm surprised that One Piece is still running, and I love One Piece. I'm I'm still a huge fan of One Piece. Fairy Tale ran for a long time too. Fairy Tale was done by the same people. Um, the fairy tale was exceptional. Um, this is one of those series that um, there's really nothing out of the ordinary here. It's just it's all done with just engineering and whatnot and. I love the fact that it, it talks about retro anime and just uh, aspects of being an otaku and then later becoming basically the mascot of your own town. And the transition is just superb. It, it, the transformation is absolutely incredible. It's very inspirational, I thought. I th saw a lot of just really good character development. And you don't even have to be um, a lover of manga or anime to understand it. It's, it's something I think everybody can enjoy and take something away from it as well. But... You have to see it for yourself. I personally think it's worth it. Because the opening song and ending song are everything. So until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tati.